Hi guys, it's Diane, Southern City Girl. Hey, I just wanted to show you something real quick, what I'm doing right here. As you can see, I want you to see all of this, <laughs> all of this peeled and smashed garlic. Here's some that aren't done yet. This is what we have to finish. My husband did every one of these for me. Um, he was outside working. He came in and helped me. That was really nice. He's such a doll. I really love him. Um, but he's, I told him, let me finish it so he can go out and do what he wanted to do. So what I do, um, and this is for my honey garlic infused, garlic infused honey. Um, you do it for 20 days and I do have a video on that so you can watch that and see how I do it. But what I, I start out with, uh, first of all, let me tell you, this is about uh, 14, 15 bulbs of garlic. All of this right here. And I kid you not, I counted the cloves, about 171 cloves of garlic. That is a lot of garlic. Depending on what size of jar I'm going to use, this will make two or three big jars. Maybe four or five small jars, depending. Okay, so what I do, let me try to do this with one hand, because uh, that's all I have right now. I'm holding my phone, I don't have it on a tripod. Okay, so right now I've got this garlic clove right here still has a skin on it and it's whole. So I'm going to take it and get me a big knife. I've done it with this knife right here before guys, but that is not safe. That's too skinny. Make sure you have a big one like this or similar to this or even something strong. You don't even have to have a knife. Something strong and wide that you're not going to hurt yourself with. Okay, so right here I put the knife. There's my garlic clove right there. Put the knife on top of my garlic clove and let's see if I can do it with one hand. Let's move it up here a little bit. Okay, and I smash it. Ah, I did it! Yay, okay. See how I smashed it right there? Okay, now the skin will come right off. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. See how the skin just falls off right there, like that? And then I put it in my bowl over here that I'm working with. And then the garlic is all smushed up. Okay, now some of these garlic pieces are really big, and some of them are small. And some of them, you know, they're cut a smaller than the others, and that's okay. That's all right. But see these little stem things on the end, little hard pieces? You want to cut all those off. That way you don't eat those when you go to eat your gar honey garlic. Okay, now, while I'm doing that, your hands get really sticky. I mean, really sticky. And this stuff sticks to you. See, I can't, well, that one fell off. Most of the time, they stick really to you. Now, what I do is I have a little thing of water here, which I rinse my hands off, and I just kind of pat it dry a little bit. So, that's one thing that I'm doing today. I cleaned out my freezer, got all my bones out of there that I save and freeze every time we have leftover bones. Oh, excuse me, I had a breath today. Okay, so this is what else I'm doing today. Right here. This is my Instapot. It's a six quart. And I am making my bone broth. Normally I do just chicken at one time or just beef. But right now I put a combination of beef and chicken in there because I wanted to get rid of my um, bones in my freezer because I was cleaning it out. Now when I use my Instapot, um, my stuff does gel up. Gels up just like it's supposed to gel up. So I'm just telling you, from my experience, the Instapot works fabulous for bone broth. You don't have to sit it on your stove for days or hours and hours. But if you like it like that, that's fine. I understand that. I get it. I can't leave my propane running that long on my stove. I don't trust it at night, especially when I go to bed. And plus it's a lot of propane, very expensive. So that's the second thing I'm doing today. The other thing I'm doing today is I'll bring you over here. Well, actually this has been here for a few days. This is some leftover parsley and I, I bought it. When I bought it, oh my gosh, it smelled so fresh. Some of the freshest smelling parsley I have ever smelled. Anyway, what I did with my leftover, because I don't want to throw it away, I just put it on a plate and I'm drying it. It's almost dry, and when it dries, I'll just take, 
I'll just take a stem. Let's see if I can get one out here. Okay. I'll just take a stem and I'll just kind of kind of get it off. Just get it off the stem. Go right down the stem. It's kind of it's really hard for me to do this one hand guy. Plus I'm not left-handed. But anyway, you get you get what I'm talking about. Once this is dry, you can take one of the stems here and just go down the stem and it'll come off. It's getting dry, it's not all the way dry, so some of them aren't coming off. Okay. So that's my other project today. And then um, after my bone broth gets done today, I'm going to make a soup out of it. But I just wanted to show you guys a couple of projects. Um, I'm not dressed this morning. That's why I didn't show you me. So I hope that this is okay. And I just want to say, guys, God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And always be kind, guys. You know, we live in a cruel world right now. And... We need the kindness from every angle that we can go at. You know, you need to be kind to people. and People need to be kind to you. Sometimes it's hard. But you can do it. And always, always forgive. You know, when you forgive, you're not forgiving for them. You're forgiving for you. Even though you weren't wrong, forgive. You will be amazed at how it will make you feel. And always, always, especially to my children and my grandchildren, Always remember who you are. These are hard times, guys. Never, never forsake Jesus. Live for Him with all your heart. I love you guys. God bless you, and have a good day. Bye.